Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Orchestral Tools Sign Player in FL Studio. What's great about this is it uses real sampled instruments that have been recorded. So instead of artificially generating your instrument with a synthesizer or something like that, it's an actual real instrument, so it gives it a way more realistic sound. And to get started with that, we're going to go to orchestraltools.com. I'll put that link in the description. And we're going to go over to Get Sign at the top here. And I am on Windows, so I'm going to do the Windows download. All right, once that's done, you can click on the file. Hit yes, hit next, and just go through these menus. Make sure you know what folder it's being installed to because you'll need to know that when you get to FL Studio. And hit next through there, and install. All right, I'll hit finish on there. Okay, so that's going to open up sign right here and you can go ahead and create an account all right so once you register for an account you can then go back to the app here and sign in um, it does send you a email verification link and i had to go to my spam folder to find it so make sure you check that it might not show up in your main inbox and i'll go ahead and log in here all right then once you hit activate it should load you in like this. I'll make this full screen so it's easier to see. Okay, and you can see there's all kinds of instruments here that you can have. And what it's showing you here is all the free ver instruments that you have. So it's under my licenses right now. If we go to library, it, you see it shows nothing right here because we don't have anything installed. So if we go back to my licenses, let's just download the Berlin Free Orchestra. And we'll just select this default default folder here. All right, so all the downloads for those instruments are complete. So if we go to library now, there they are. And it shows all your file locations here. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna close out of sign. All right, so once we're in FL Studio, we're gonna go up to add, manage plugins, and find installed plugins. And this is going to search for any plugins that are not currently in FL Studio yet that we have installed on the computer. And you, you got to make sure that you have the correct search paths here. Just quit out of that. That's for a different plugin that I need to update. Okay. So it's going to go through here and find anything. And you can see sign player is showing up right there. So that worked. I'll wait for it to finish scanning. All right. If we scroll down here, do we have, yep, sign player. There it is. Okay, so we can close out of that. And I'm going to go to this plus in our channel rack. And there's sign player. If it's not showing up in this list here, you might have to go to more plugins. Um, I have it favorited, so that's why it's showing up for me right away. So click sign player. And you can see the Berlin Free Orchestra is in our library now. This is just the sign player in FL Studio. Studio. It's the same app, just we have it integrated now. So to load up an instrument, I'm going to click on this, and let's say we want to string, uh, let's try string ensemble. In order to equip this, essentially, you don't want to drag this over to loaded articulations. And now if we play this, I'll turn that up a little bit for you. Right. 
that is sounding very nice. Now, if we want to add this to our mixer, just make sure that this is highlighted on sign player in your channel rack. Go over to the mixer, right click on an empty insert, channel routing, route selected channels to this track. And now it should be working coming through our mixer. And if we go to our piano roll as well, make sure sign player is selected up here in the piano roll. And there we go, it's coming through our mixer. So we can add more effects on that if we want. Can draw in some MIDI here. Add that to our playlist. All right, so that is how you install and set up the sign player in FL Studio. Pretty easy installation and setup. And if we go to back to my licenses, there's all these free flute, studio voices, tone wheel organ, a bunch of really nice sounding free instruments, which is awesome. And you can also buy paid ones if we go to the store. All right. Okay, so that's pretty much everything for this video. If you enjoyed this, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And let me know if you'd like to see any other videos on any instruments or plugins. I'd be happy to go over that. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.